Okay. Um, so it wants us to uh, rank these elements according to their first ionization energy. Um, and I'm just going to write them down this way. And I'm going to write out um, their uh, valence configurations. So gallium's valence is uh, 4s2, well, I guess not valence, but um, highest orbital electron configuration. And these just go down, or not down, but across the periodic table. <clears throat> And so what affects, um, what largely affects your first ionization energy is how much energy it takes to remove these electrons and also how stable the, um, the cation is. Uh, but the largest thing is really how difficult it is to remove an electron. And so the biggest thing that leads to that is um, actually your nucleus because your nucleus is, is heavily positive, positively charged and as you go uh, right across the periodic table we're increasing this charge which means that as we go right across the periodic table these electrons are actually more and more tightly held The only thing that that change that alters this is um, we get a little bit of stabilization for a half filled orbitals. So the only case this comes in is is arsenic, and for filled orbitals, which is krypton. But of course, uh, krypton's our noble gas, so it's on the far right of the periodic table. So it still kind of follows that trend. So. So with this idea that it's going to increase across from the right, then we can see that potassium is going to be our lowest, krypton is going to be our highest, and then it should just increase down from there with arsenic and selenium swapping places because arsenic has a bit of stabilization due to the orbital being half filled. So to um, answer the question here, then um, for our first ionization energy, it should be potassium smallest which is less than uh, gallium, which is less than germanium, which is less than, um, and now arsenic and selenium are gonna swap, so less than selenium, um, which is less than arsenic, which is less than bromine, which is less than krypton. Okay, so basically it goes right across the periodic table from left to right, um, except selenium and arsenic are swapped. Uh, Okay, so uh, the solution here goes through a bit of what I discussed. Um, and so, um, so th they're going actually from highest to lowest here, but krypton, bromine, arsenic, selenium, germanium, um, Calcium? 
calcium wasn't in there. <laughs> um, gallium and then potassium. And also, I don't think calcium would be in the in between there, so that's just a mistake. But yeah, so it just basically goes left to right across the periodic table with some swaps in places where you get half-filled shells. So the solution is correct. 